Hello my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome you all back to this general awareness class so in today's class we are going to read a story you are all going to read the story along with me so can i introduce the title yes yes let's start our title is proud little peacock proud little peacock the story is written by christina wilson and illustrations by bivoli brands Okay let's start our uh, picture story Little Peacock stepped happily across the meadow behind his father He watched the big peacock's long tail shimmering in the sunlight Someday I will have a wonderful day like that said Little Peacock dreamily So Our story starts with Little Peacock's dream. This picture, the one in this picture, is actually Little Peacock's father, Peacock. So Little Peacock looks like this. So this is our Little Peacock. Okay. So let's continue our story. So here Peacock is dreaming about his. future that he will to have like this big feathers long tails so next page his father stopped to rise and spread his beautiful fan of feathers that shimmered with the brilliance of a thousand glittering eyes bravo shout a little peacock thank you replied his father little peacock puffed up with pride as he trotted off to play with his friends so here now little peacock is very much proud about his father's fan of feathers so here see this is with thousands of eyes the natural design the seems like eyes so little peacock is very much proud about his father's appearance as well as he is thinking that future i too will have like this so he is now itself he is pride and proud about his future appearance and now next what happened he is rushing towards his friends and also he wants to say about this incident to his friends so next page little peacock come and play little peacock come and play his friends called out when they saw him next page but little peacock seemed lost in his own thoughts did you see my father he asked some day i'm going to have a great big glorious day like this yes we did said little deer impatiently now do you want to play with us little peacock did not answer he was too busy admiring his reflection in a puddle of water so what's happening now his friends are calling his friends of deer monkey and hippo so they are calling him to play with them right so but the peacock is very much in thought about his father's tail because he is thinking about his future right so he is asking everyone to you see is my father's tail see how beautiful that is how glorious that is so but the others the other friends are not in thought of that thing because they want to play because children always likes to play yes you kids likes to play right yes likewise they are calling him to play with them but he is in deep thought about the fan of feathers next page 
Don't you want to play hide and seek, little peacock? Asked little monkey. So now, hide and seek, said little peacock. Yes, that would be nice. But when I grow up, I will never be able to play hide and seek. It will be quite impossible to hide my wonderful tail. See, now his friends are calling him to play with them. But he is thinking about future. This is too much of in thought, right? So now he don't have feathers. But he is thinking like, now if I am playing, okay, now I can play hide and seek. But in future, I cannot play. He is kind of boasting. That is known as pride. He was very much proud about the feathers. Next page. His friends glanced at each other. Or what about follow the leader? Asked little rhino. One lay if I am the leader, said little peacock. Anybody with a tail like mine suddenly has to lead a parade. So here again, they are going for hide and seek. He is not wishing. So next, the other game like follow the leader game. So here too, he is saying like I'm the leader because I will get those feathers. So I should be the leader. So he is so much proud about the feathers. Next page. All day long, little peacock talked endlessly about the tile. He would grow someday. None of you will ever have a tail like mine. He boasted. I will grow antlers, said little dee. Next page. And I will grow a beard, said little monkey. I will grow a great horn, said little rhino. Little peacock stuck his beak into the air, but he will never sparkle or look like a rainbow. He crowed. So what is happening here? See, he is boasting. The peacock is boasting all day. Totally endlessly he is boasting. But see, the other friends, what is? We are now little children, right? So the little children will not have some specific ability like adults but when they are adults they will have some more features likewise now little peacock doesn't have that feathers in future he is a peacock right so he is a peacock so he must have that feathers in futures likewise for the antlers antlers in the sense man kumbu right antlers will Come in future, like for monkey now, he doesn't have that much beard, he doesn't have that much hair, but in future, he will. And likewise for hippo, for the little hippo, the horn, he doesn't have any horns, but for the adult, he'll grow a horn. So others are saying it in very simple manner, so we will do have our own credits. But see the peacock, no, but, but no one will have this beautiful, glorious feathers. He is again started posing. Next page. See, this is how he is appearing. Next page, see. The next morning, little peacock went off to find his friend. Hello, little D, he said. Would you like to play? Not today, said little D. I'm too busy. Little Rhino was also too busy to play and Little Monkey had other plans as well. So Little Peacock went home and spent the afternoon fluffing up his tiny tail and marching back and forth. Next page. For days afterwards, Little Peacock's friends always seemed too busy to play. Little Peacock began to feel lonely. So what is happening now? Little Peacock's friends are actually fed up with his talk so they don't want to play so next day he went to his friends asking can i play with you or let's play but they are not in mood to play with him and they totally avoided him for the days too and one day what's the matter asked his mother his mother is asking about the scenario why you are feeling so lonely nowadays why you are not going to play with your friends so he is a Peacock is saying, my friends say they are too busy to play, said little peacock. <laughs> That's funny, said his mother. I saw them playing by the water hole. Little peacock ran off to take a look. It was true, his friends were playing without him. 
he trudged home his feathers drooping sadly so what is happening now he is answering his mother that my friends are too busy so they are not playing like this but his mother is saying that no i saw them just before they are playing in water hole by hearing this is shocked actually peacock so he ran there and he saw his friends were playing without him so he is so lonely felt so lonely and he felt depressed and uh, in sad way he is going back to his home but on the way something is going to happen see along the way little peacock found a feather on the path it was a peacock feather then he found another and another the trail of feathers led straight to his father dad cried little peacock what happened to your tail it's gone where his father once bought the huge tail he now had nothing but a few straggly feathers so what is the scenario is little peacock is see his father without feathers because the real fact is every summer peacocks will shed their feathers and next in next season the new band of feathers will grow for them this is a procedure so now it is summer and so his father shed all his feathers and he is without his feathers now so this is the scenario but little peacock does it know that and as well he is very sad and shy about that he is asking his father so now our father is answering don't worry my tail feathers fall off at the end of every summer explained little peacock's father then i grow a brand new set don't you feel ugly asked little peacock don't you want to hide certainly not laughed his father i am always proud as a peacock with or without a colorful tail he looked down at the sun we are lucky enough to have these fine feathers but looks or not everything family and friends are much more important so now father peacock is giving a great message that is now the little peacock is crying out like what happened to you don't you feel ugly don't you want to hide he is asking questions with father but father is saying that even though i'm with feather or without feather i'm peacock i'm proud about that but not about my beauty that's what important so finally he is saying that we are lucky enough to have these fine feathers we are lucky to have these fine feathers but looks are not important we should not be proud about our looks appearance is nothing but family and friends or everything because at the end of each summer we will shed our feathers and then the new band will grow this is a procedure so in our life span we have more days with tail without feathers so this is nothing looks is nothing but family and friends is more important he gave a great message there so next odd happening yeah all of sudden the little peacock went towards his friends yes was happening there little peacock looked thoughtful and went off immediately to find his playmates the, he is saying that my father's tail feathers have fallen out he told them that's terrible said little rhino no it's really is not said little peacock they will grow back by spring time and they are only feathers now little peacock is accepting that they are only just feathers friends are more important little peacock looked hopefully at his friends please can i play he asked they smiled at him of course said little monkey the four friends laughed and scampered off into the forest see yeah they are going to become a strong group playmates so he also find out that good friends or very good companion family and friends are very important than 
appearance because appearance is nothing we should not be proud about our own appearance because appearance is nothing okay so this is the moral of our story you should not be proud of your own appearance but than appearance family and friends are very important so this is all about the story i think i can give you some info about the peacock actually the male is called by peacock and the female is called by peahen clear male is peacock and the female is peahen and the male and female totally the family is called like peafowl this is a information extra information to you okay children i think this class was very much useful to you thank you children take care bye bye